So it's time for another gardening week video and Sunday afternoon after I shot finished shooting the last gardening week video uh, I was down here and I took out another bed of peppers so I've taken two beds of peppers out so far got three more beds to go taking one out per week so took this one out basically when I take peppers out I leave the roots in the ground I don't do this for everything but for peppers it's really convenient I just snip off the uh, roots and take the plants with all the peppers that are left on them and basically give those away to anybody who wants lots of green peppers and so that works pretty well because there's always lots of takers we don't like green peppers and we've got every nook and cranny full of peppers anyway so we don't need any more um, and I prepared that ground and got it replanted with spinach and I interplanted with salad onions. I did a video especially all about that, bed prep and everything, all the little tweaks and things. And today, which is Monday, I could lose track of the time sometimes, uh, I'm back down on the allotment again. And today I've been focusing really on my early strawberries. And so I've taken all of my second year runners out of my second early bed which is a bit of a struggle to get straight and potted those up and again done a video about that as well if you want to look at that but anyway got all those strawberries done i've got 18 plants that is enough for my early first early crop and i do split that first early crop into two halves one that grows outside uh, back at home and one that grows in the polytunnel here and I also tidied up my first earlies in containers which are outside so um, yeah I'm going to have loads of strawberries this year next year which I'm really excited about so that is pretty much it for most of the gardening week because I've got a lot of tidying up to do tomorrow which is not probably worth talking about and then I'm away for two days so I'll see you again on Friday. So it's Tuesday. I didn't expect to get any gardening done today, but I did manage to get a few seedlings pricked out. And so I was really pleased to get those done, as I say, because I'm away for a couple of days and I didn't want to leave them. And just for resilience, really, I just sowed another batch of extra seeds just in case. So um, I'll put up down the side here the things that I sowed today, and because uh, they're extra to my normal sowing and growing guide. And yep, off tomorrow, just picked a few little bits and pieces for tomorrow's meal and uh, looking forward to it. Going to see my new grandson. Well, I'm back up north and I'm not feeling so good at the moment, but I had a lovely time down there uh, seeing my new grandson. And uh, yeah, such an emotional experience meeting a new little babe for the first time. Anyway, in the back garden, I've spent most of Saturday, not most really, like an hour of Saturday, uh, planting out and I got a lot of salad onions in and I got a lot of um, winter mines lettuce in, Claytonia, and also lamb's lettuce or corn salad. Why does everything have to have multiple names? Anyway, I was really pleased to get that in. The corn salad, a little tiny bit of mildew on some of the leaves that does happen basically when they're in modules and they're just not being kept wet enough uh, and uh, yeah now they're in the ground they should go through that and be fine so it's saturday night now and i'm on the allotment plot and i'm working my way through the chaos that is autumn, early autumn soon all have disappeared and be replaced by the order of mid-autumn but right now it's just a right old mess just making the best of it picking what i can and looking forward to an easy life so uh, i'll just show you a bit of the harvest actually uh, as i'm kind of progressing through it the kind of scene of the harvest that you don't see you know the chaos of the harvest basically uh, before it's all kind of ready and packed up and uh, ready to be distributed so uh, yeah hopefully gives you a bit of an insight into what it looks like midway through so here's all my gear so small things are just put into straight into these these are what we normally distribute all the veg in but they're quite convenient for harvesting small quantities of things so things like new zealand spinach at the moment things like that these bigger trays good for things like peppers and i use these trays as drip trays later on in the year 
uh, but at this time of the year I've got no use for them so they're just used for harvesting and we've got loads of these and then I've got various different sizes of these food safe kind of containers and these are mainly for things like the leafy greens so um, yeah quite the collection of different things and of course these are all got lids and I harvest into water or wash with water where I can so while I'm harvesting I'm trying to do a bit of an assessment as to how much I need to pick for everybody and also you know how long plants will last before they need to be finished and in this case the sweet corn is finished so I had to pick all of this succession we've got one more succession to go and I also do a bit of clean up on the plot so as I leave as much compost material here and as few earwigs and spiders in the car as possible and that looks a lot better picked a nice little sample of apples there and just just a few of these just the little ones really because they um, they don't last very long they seem to start to rot in this w damp weather and can you see the white fly on this so anything with white fly i like to try and give it a good rinse off because i don't really want to take white fly home because we've not got much white fly at home and sometimes i'm just clearing a bed like this pepper bed so i just take absolutely everything that's usable all of these are just starting to turn so they'll all ripen those probably won't so they'll have to be used green we've still got quite a few cucumbers on but i'm just going to leave them because i want some for next week and i'm not convinced there'll be many next week because it's getting a lot colder at night i think at this time of year even big ones like this are worth leaving for another few days so i'm short of lettuce at the moment so i'm just taking lots of tatsoi which uh, is a great lettuce substitute and uh, we've got some big asian greens as well and of course all this is coming out in a few days time so it just all has to be picked now and these little asian greens look a bit scrappy in the polytunnel but they do clean up pretty nicely actually that skies shaping up quite nicely as well very few of my new season beds are ready but this is an exception and it's looking gorgeous and there we go that's the allotment harvest done so i'm all done now i'm going home and i've got a really sore throat so i'll see you tomorrow for the harvest so let's take a quick look at today's harvest We've got those really nice, I think they're Taysai, those, uh, or Joy Choi, I can't remember exactly which ones. Uh, we've got some baking potatoes, used now, garlics and onions, just a few leeks, <laughs> a very pitiful harvest of French beans, but that's all we've got now. I think they're pretty much finished. Um, Trubuccinos in lieu of courgettes, green peppers, these are fully green peppers. The rest of the peppers we've got are just starting to turn, so they will ripen. Raspberries, uh, turnips, I forgot to harvest any parsnips, little um, cauliflower, what's this, New Zealand spinach red beetroot and golden beetroot and i'm only picking the little beetroot at the moment because i want the big ones to go into store uh, we started picking a few grapes red pak choy tatsoi and then here we've got as i said the peppers and you can see they're all just starting to ripen so there's a good crop of those there and then brassica greens there i picked the first few collets as well mixed fruits cooking carrots some little salad carrots here uh, radish loads and loads as usual of cucumbers and i found 
those two cucumbers just be hiding behind a leaf. Uh, salad onion tops, salad onions. Uh, these are the last really of the polytunnel tomatoes that are good enough to go into salads. And then we've got a few from the outdoor ones. A few of these are starting to split now. They should be okay in cooking. And then there's more tomatoes for cooking there. These are the salad bases. I'll be adding all the goodies to those in a few minutes. And they'll look a lot nicer once they're sorted. And then we're just ploughing through the last, well, the penultimate, I think, harvest of sweet corn. There's a few of those that got a bit damaged, but they're okay. So that is again, not bad harvest, kind of autumn abundance, of course, at this time of year. And I think I'm not 100% sure, but I'll only really have a big table like this next week. And then I think after that, basically when we're in to uh, October, everything will calm down again nicely. So I hope you like this quick video. My name is Steve. This is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel, and I'll see you soon.